Leesburg has a new top cop. For Style Magazine's Hometown Headlines, I'm Mark Roberts. Production support for the Style Hometown Headlines is made possible by Tri-County Foot and Ankle, quality foot and ankle care for people of all ages. The city of Leesburg has selected their new chief of police. Captain Joe Iozzi has been selected to take the place of former chief of police and new deputy city manager Rob Hicks. Iozzi has provided dedicated services to the citizens of Leesburg since 1994. Congratulations, Chief. Catrali Citrus, a staple in the city of Leesburg, has recently announced the closure of the juice factory located on Cloud Street. The closure is planned in two phases, with more than 100 layoffs beginning in July. Lake Mineola High School recently hired Mike McGlynn as their new head football coach. McGlynn is a former NFL player who was drafted by the Eagles and later played for the Bengals, Colts, Chiefs, and the Saints during his eight-year NFL career. Welcome to the Hawks, Coach. The Forward Pass Project, Cottages on Grove Tiny Home Village, Ribbon Cutting Ceremony, which was originally set to take place on Friday, May 17th, has been postponed. The ceremony will now take place on Friday, June 7th at 10 a.m. The 20 homes will serve to help young adults who have aged out of foster care transition into independent living. New Vision for Independence recently hosted their annual AXI Awards. Awards go to the most blind-friendly businesses that go above and beyond for their clients. This year's winners included Hurricane Dockside and Tiberi's, Kroger Delivery, Belk and AMC Theaters in the Lake Square Mall, Mid Florida Eye, and many more. Style raises awareness about local food banks in the area working hard to feed and strengthen communities battling food insecurities. Grab your copy of Style around town or read it online. For more local news and community features, check out lakeandsumterstyle.com. And if you have an event, press release, or just some news worth sharing, send it to us at info at redapplesmedia.com. That's this week's Style Hometown Headlines on LSTV Digital. I'm Mark Roberts. Walking the dog was extremely painful. I had ingrown toenails, and it was really hard to walk, of course. And I went to Dr. Wu's office at Tri-County Foot and Ankle, and then removed the ingrown toenail. And voila, I can walk again. Schedule your appointment at Tri-County Foot and Ankle, tcfavillages.com.